This is one of multiple IP version 6 troubleshooting videos. We've been told that router 1 in this topology cannot ping router 3. So let's verify that. Here's router 1. So let's ping 2001 face colon colon 3. Ping doesn't succeed. We get unreachable messages. Now show IP route won't help you in this topology because there are no IP version 4 addresses configured on the router. We can see that gigabit 00 is up and the loopback interface is up. But what we need to do is use show IP interface brief to see the IP addresses configured on the router. We can use trace route to see how far traffic gets. In this example, we can see that the trace gets to 2001 colon 1 colon colon 2, which is router 2. And again, we could use commands such as show IP route to view the routing table. Now, router 1 has a default route to router 2. Traffic is getting to router 2, but is going no further. So let's have a look at router 2. Ping. 2001, face 3. Notice what we're told, no valid route to the destination. So what do you think I should type now to verify what's going on? Should I look at layer 1? So use commands such as show IP interface brief to verify layer 1. In this example, layer 1 is up, up. Notice the interface is up, up. So it looks like layer 1 is up and layer two is up. Should I use commands such as show CDP neighbors to verify that a layer two is working? In this example, we can see that router three is connected to router two. So that implies that a layer two is working. Show IP route won't help us because there are no IP version four routes. But what about show IPv6 route? Can you see the problem in this output? Is there a route to the loopback of router 3? Notice there is no route to router 3 in the routing table. Show IPv6 route include face only shows us a static route to router 1 and a local connection on router 2. So again, show IPv6 route. There's no route in the routing table. Show IPv6 protocols. We don't have a routing protocol such as RIP or OSPF enabled, but we do have static routes configured. So show run pipe include route. We can see a static route to the loopback of router one, and then there's a default route to router three. Notice the next top is 2001 colon two colon colon two. So can we ping 2001 colon two colon colon two? Notice we told that there's no route in the routing table. In other words, we don't have a route to a router that's directly connected to us. Can we ping ourselves? So 2001 colon 2 colon colon 1. We told that we don't have a route to our local IP address. That doesn't look right, so show IP v6 interface brief. What's the problem in this output? If you need to, pause the video. But what's the problem? Notice here, gigabit01 has an IP address configured of 2001 colon 1 colon 2 colon colon 1, when in actual fact it should be 2001 2 1. There's an extra 1 in the network. So show run interface gigabit01. Notice the extra 1 in the network address. So let's fix that. So no IPv6 address. IPv6 address, 2001, 2, colon, colon, 1, slash 64. Can we ping 2001, colon, 2, colon, colon, 2? Now we can ping router 3. What about the loopback of router 3? We can ping the loopback of router 3. So that looks promising. What about from router 1? Ping the loopback of router 3. So yes, that looks good. We can ping the loopback of router 3, and we can ping 
the physical interface of router 3. Be careful with your IP addresses. Look at your routing tables. Look at the configuration of your IP addresses to verify that it's correct. Previously, we didn't have the static route in the routing table, but now we do. So previously, the static route was missing. We had a static route to the loopback of router 1, but no static route to the loopback of router 3. Now we can get to the loopback of router 3 because of this default route. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's been of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.